You've created a video masterpiece and now it's time to share it with the world. This is Exporting 101. Welcome to the CapCut YouTube channel. If this is your first CapCut 101 video you're seeing, hello, nice to meet you. And if not, welcome back. Make sure to hit that subscribe button for weekly tutorials and product updates on your favorite free editing app. This is video number seven in an 11 part series known as CapCut 101. We're taking you from an editing beginner to an editing pro. So if you haven't caught the other tutorials, definitely go back and watch those. Today, we're gonna talk all about exporting your videos from the CapCut desktop app. I'm gonna walk you through all the different settings and options so that you feel confident and ready to share your creations with the world. So let's just get into it, shall we? Let's go ahead and open up the app. So you've watched our other CapCut 101 tutorials, you've made the perfect video, and now you're ready to export. There are a couple of different ways to get to the export menu. The first way is to go to the top right of your screen and click on the blue export button. You can also access this menu by typing command E. Or if you're on Windows, that's gonna be control E. Within the exporting menu, you can title your video file whatever you'd like. You can also choose where your final file will land on your computer. Personally, I work off of an external hard drive, so every video file that I export goes right onto there. Highly recommend using an external hard drive if you create a lot of videos. Within the video exporting section, you're gonna see all of CapCut's default settings and you can change any of these. The default resolution is 1080p, but you can change it to 4K if you want your video quality to just be out of this world. For the most part, I think that 1080p is perfect for TikTok or other social media platforms. I've noticed that sometimes when I upload a 4K file, the social media platform will compress it anyway. You can also make the video file smaller and decrease the quality a little bit if you're, for example, running out of space on your computer and just want to get it out there. The bitrate is kind of like the digital version of a film projector. Instead of frames physically being run through a projector, digital videos are processed in bits. The number of bits that are processed per second is going to be your bitrate. The higher the bitrate, the more quickly the data in your video is being processed. This is going to automatically increase the quality of your video, but it's also going to increase the size of your file. So this requires a little bit of back and forth. Usually I just stick with what CapCut recommends and I haven't run into any issues. Codec is a means to compress your video so that it saves space on your computer and is easier to send to others. The default setting is H.264 because this is just the most common compression method. But you can also export as an HEVC to save more space. If you're on a Mac, you'll have Apple ProRes options to choose from as well. Typically, I'll use Apple ProRes if I want to share a draft or something during the editing process, but exporting the final product as H.264 does pretty well. Your format is your file type. By default, you're gonna export an MOV file, but you can change this to an MP4. This totally depends on your preference. MP4s are typically more compressed than MOVs. So the MP4 might save you a little space, but it also could decrease the quality of your video. The frame rate determines how many frames appear per second. The standard's gonna be 30 frames per second, but you can change this to be more or less. Raising your frame rate to 60, for example, is gonna reduce the motion blur in your video and give you a smoother, more detailed result. Usually for my purposes on social media, 30 frames per second is totally fine. You can also export audio only. So let's say you recorded a voiceover and you just wanna save that on its own. This is a great way to do that. And you can change your format here from MP3 to WAV to AAC, whatever your preference is. Your WAV file, I usually call it a WAV file, is gonna be a little bit less compressed. So it's gonna give you a higher quality result. AAC is gonna be the same bit rate as MP3, but it should give you a higher sound quality as well. CapCut Pro users can also export captions files. For example, this is great if you want to reuse the same voiceover for future videos and not have to redo all of your captions. And finally, you've got your copyright check. This is super useful for businesses on TikTok that use the commercial sound library. This copyright check is going to go through your whole video and make sure that you don't have any issues with copyrighted sounds. I also want to note that you're not going to be able to export a video that uses CapCut Pro features unless you're a CapCut Pro user. If you try to, you're just going to get this pop-up that outlines all of the CapCut Pro features that are in in your video. So in order to export, you're gonna have to remove those or upgrade your account. And now that you've got all your settings the way you want them, you're ready to export. Once you click the export button, your video file is gonna save to your computer where you wanted it to, and then you'll get the option to share it either to TikTok, YouTube, or the TikTok Ads Manager. You can even pick out your video's title, change the privacy settings, and decide if you wanna allow duets, comments, or stitches. You can also run a copyright check here if you missed it on the previous menu. Here on the bottom left, you'll also see an option to open the folder that contains your video file just so that you can find it easily. And now that you know the ins and outs of exporting, you're ready to share all of your iconic content with the world. Got any exporting advice or specific settings that you like to use? Definitely drop them in the comments. Please also let us know what other tutorials you want to see and trust and believe we will get to work. I'll catch you in the next one.
Bye. Keep the creative vibes flowing. Subscribe for regular doses of CapCut 101 tutorials and elevate your editing skills.